Hi guys, welcome to this video about the Nest thermostat and problems related to that, specifically if you have problems with codes like E157, 58, E194, which says why are not detected, why are not detected, why are not detected. Yeah, probably there are more uh, of these. So these are really nice thermostats. I have been moving into a home where they have these already um, connected or installed and I really like them. I never used them before but here they are installed and uh, that seem to be really easy to handle, easy to connect to your, your mobile phone. I think they work with iOS and Android and so yeah the thing is they can be operated everything from the device itself or with the app and it's looking really good and stable and doing a good job but of course you can run into problems like this and then you don't want to call uh yeah like uh, some guy who asks for uh 100 for a service call like professional i mean if you don't if you have then you have but the, if it's a, such a small thing sometimes you can solve them easily so i the thing which i have is not listed here but it's a really good thing so i will definitely put down the link of the thermosets if you not already have one you can order uh, one directly with the link below so let's go back do the problem i had everything when, when i came into the home everything was working but i could not connect um my mobile phone and so i decided to reset the thing and also remove the plate i mean the, the the front plate you can remove and that's the back side of the front plate there's no no screws no nothing you can just pull uh it up out uh and then i mean the thing which is attached to the wall looks like this and this is the upper part that's the back side of the uh, lcd and there is this QR code where you can download the app. That's the good thing. So, but uh, yeah, I, 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 I removed this thing and put it back and I ended up with this code. I thought, yeah, how can it be? I didn't change the wiring. I just removed the plate, put it back and I have this problem. What has happened? So here's the picture of one of the devices i have two and one was working really good no problem no wiring problems no nothing this is the thing and works really good so i went to the second thermostat and did same thing removed put it back got the problem removed it again and i checked and it looked like this and maybe you can already tell what the problem is but i had a little bit of problem first I was shocked. I mean, it, uh, it's not my home, and I thought, yeah, I've uh, definitely, um, yeah, I've, I've smashed. I mean, uh, I've uh, killed the device or whole thing, whole AC thing, and um, yeah. So I thought it, it, it's broken or, or what. I, I, I'm not an AC guy. I can't fix everything. So I just looked again at the whole thing, and it says, when you when you read this thing, it says y1 wire not detected y1 that's the one that's the yellow thing here i think it's uh needed for switching between cooling and heating or something like that so um yeah i mean the cable looks uh into the bracket like all the other cables but there's a big difference you see these buttons here these push buttons they are down but not the one here on y1 so i thought maybe it just fell out when i was removing the cover lid and so i pushed down again with the finger here took uh, a pliers and grabbed it here and pushed it more into the y1 bracket 
and release the button and then the button was not coming up again it was down like this and I put the cover back like this and everything was working fine again so no more E157 error that was an easy thing easy fix so it saves me $100 or so um, yeah so I didn't have to call uh, pro so uh, yeah for me it worked I hope it will work for you too um, yeah if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time